Hello, I'm Judy. Hello, and I'm Sarah. And we're from the Croffle Bishop Gardening Club. We've got a couple of questions, actually. One about village gardening and another personal one uh, at home. We're looking for planting for the village, and we've got three long window boxes. And we're wondering what to put in them that will last all winter, look lovely in the spring, um, but they're not tended on a daily basis. I'd like to know what to do with woolly aphids that tend to live in my orchids. Nothing seems to work up till now. Thank you. Right, well thank you Judy and Sarah. And Judy and Sarah who can always come, branching out, can come and give you a talk and do a bit of filming at your garden club. <laughs> so to plant your containers we haven't got any troughs with us but what we have got is a, is a hanging basket to plant for the winter. So the plants are exactly the same. These will all last right the way through till next year. So John. Yes. First one is a skimmia, beautiful, and that's a male and has these gorgeous flowers right the way through the winter. So what I would do is start by having... Oh, are you going to plant it? Well, I'm not going to plant it properly, we're right. mocking it up, but I'd put three trailers around the edge. Right, awesome. There I'm going to put that in the middle, the skimmia in the middle. And then there's things like these lovely grasses or sedges that you can put in there just to give it nice oh, spiky feel. Yeah, it gives it that lovely spiky feel, Martin. Yeah, a hookera. There's a hookera. And this is a euonymus. So uh, basically what we've got are plants that are hardy, evergreen, sunflower, that looks some lovely already. It looks better already, so you've got your containers planted all the time. And the wonderful thing about these is once they're finished with, you can put them in the garden next year and they'll give you years of enjoyment. And the other thing was uh, woolly aphid on orchids. Quite tricky because it gets right down in the, in the gaps of the leaves, doesn't yeah. it? So I'd, personally, I'd, I would again get the old cloth and just wipe them out mm. because it's nice to spend time with your plants. It's a bit, if it's an apple tree it's a bit different but just one orchid you can do that and John is also available to pop round and sort that out for you, so hopefully that one will help.